Hi, welcome to episode one of Sumeri P doing pancakes. This is my number one favorite spelt flour pancakes with oat milk. So if you'd like to know how to make this delicious fluffy pancake recipe with spelt flour so you can make it for your friends and family, come with me and let's see. We need to heat up our pan to a medium heat. So first step is we need spelt flour. So we're just going to turn our scales on. It's roughly one cup. I never, I never sift, so shh. So it's about 130 grams. The way I like to do it is add a half a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. I've tried all different methods, but this is my favorite. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Whisk that up, so all those ingredients are combined. So we'll get rid of our scales. Let's pop that to one side. Now, as I said, I love oat milk, so I'm adding oat milk to my recipe, and it's about one cup. So what we'll do, we won't put the whole cup in yet. I'm just gonna put in maybe three quarters of a cup. We're gonna add our egg, just one egg. I'll mix all that together. I like fluffy thick pancakes, so my batter is usually a little bit thicker than some others. So I like to incorporate most of the ingredients. I'll just move that out of the way for you. Oh, I meant to say, the spelt I use is a wholemeal organic spelt flour. There are other varieties out there like white spelt flour. So if you have that, it'll be fine. Or you can just swap my recipe out for your preferred flour. So that's looking about that consistency. So if you wanna add the whole cup, feel free. So now we just start cooking. So I sprayed a little bit of um, sunflower oil spray in my bottom of my nonstick pan. But if you've got butter and you prefer butter, you can do butter. Okay, so now we're just gonna grab a little half cup measure. So we're doing kind of medium sized ones. And then the first side takes about two to three minutes to cook. We need to wait till it bubbles before we flip it over. The good thing about pancakes is even if they don't look perfect, they still taste great. So while we're doing that, I might just clean up. So you can see here, we've still got a few more bubbles to pop open. And then once we have more bubbles appearing and then we'll flip it. Okay, let's give it a go. They splashed a bit, that's a bit early. Shh, don't tell anyone. Maybe next time I'm going to make them a bit smaller. So I usually cook them behind myself, or behind me, on the gas hob, on the crepe pan. But for the video, I learned to face you and do them on this one. But I'm not that rehearsed or practiced at using this induction hob, so it's a bit trickier. But I think we're, we'll be alright. So second time round, I've made them a bit smaller, but now they're joining. Hmm. Bubbles are appearing. Drum roll. About to flip, a few more bubbles. A little tip, master the heat for your hob or your pan at home. It's usually a medium heat. Too hot, they burn. Too cold, they don't cook quick enough. Every pan's different, every stove top's different. So master it and then you have perfect pancakes. Okay, flipping time. Let's try this one now. Oh no, that one broke. What about you? Do you ever bake a cake and it always turns out perfect when you just bake it for the family? And then you have a special occasion, you bake the same cake and for some reason it messes up. Well that often happens to me when I'm videoing. I make pancakes probably once a week and they're always perfect just for me and my husband. As soon as I've started videoing, they're not working out, but I'll keep pursuing. That looks pretty good. The one with the, the bite out of it. We'll just slide that in there. Let's spray a bit more oil on. All right, so I think this mix will be about six medium-sized pancakes. Watching the bubbles. I'm gonna stack these ones up. I'll hide the ones that don't look that good. Maybe that one. It's got a bite out of it. Okay, we're almost there. Give it a go, Sue. One, two, three. Oh, that <laughs> slipped. It slipped off my spatula. They're looking good. So I flipped the camera back up. Almost cooked. This is our stack so far. They're not super perfect, but they taste delicious. There you go. My fluffy spelt pancakes with oat milk. Thank you for watching. If you've liked my video today, share it with a friend. Hit the like button, the thumbs up. Write a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And don't forget, hit the bell, the bell, and then you get notified as soon as I have a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye.